uh, my, my neighbor's atheist, and he's ugly about it. So, you know, I, I don't know if I should stay away or, I mean, he's a nice man. I don't have anything against him. That's his, he's got to straighten out his own problem, but, uh, you know, it's hard. Look, whenever we try to comprehend something so phenomenal through intellectual means, we are going to fail. See, God is not, he doesn't fit into human logic. He doesn't fit into human intelligence. You know, he does not fit into anything. You know, he is not a matter. He does not follow an order. Mm -hmm. You know, he is not, you know, organized in a linear way. No. Because you know, it comes to me. I mean, is it? See, God is literally an energy that has enormous consciousness. In other words, it's an energy that is very intelligent, extremely intelligent. Okay. Um, see, and you cannot break an, an energy and put it in a structured order. Mm -hmm. Energy flows and flows and flows and flows and flows. And it is the same energy that created us. And that created every element in the universe. You know, if we are looking into this room and looking for any created elements, Yes, we see each other. But even our bodies, every organism in our body, every cell in our body, you know, is created with that much meticulous intelligence. And our cells know what to do. Our organs know what to do. Mm. Every single element in our body, it operates with intelligence. See, that is the consciousness. That is the conscious energy that I'm talking about. Every created element in the universe is created with that, you know, level of conscious energy. And this is not really just spirituality alone. This is also what uh, the quantum fluids theory teaches us. Every particle was created, created by quantum fluids that quantum fluid happens to be a conscious energy. You know. How does that apply to our everyday faith? In a variety of ways, it doesn't. You know, because look, every single element, every single organism, every single creation in the universe is put together by divine energy. It's an extension of the divine energy, whether we see it or not. Mm -hmm. See, we don't see ourselves, but it is an extension of the divine energy. You know, when we look at a plant, can we see the plant? Yes. But the plant is also put together with that much divine energy. When we see an animal? Yes. When we see Everything that is created by God, you know, it is functioning with intelligent energy. And that intelligent energy has to do with God. That is what God is. You see, so we need to be able to see everything as a divine extension of God. Even bad people. A divine extension of God. See, 
goodness and badness is something we determine. You know, if you, the minute we think it's God's work, not my work, my work is only to love, you know, then everything changes. You know, see, whether somebody is good or bad, you know, let's give that person a name, you know, let's call that person whatever name you want to give. Gail. All right, Gail. Um, see, and uh, let's imagine how old the Gail is. How old? Mm-hmm. Gail is um, 50, 55. 55. Can you imagine God loving her for 55 years? God loves her for 55 years. If that person is 55 years, can you imagine God is loving her for 55 years? It's hard to imagine that. I and, believe it. Yeah, and I, God I is, can believe that based on what we're saying today. That yeah. the that God is divine energy. Yeah. And so has that been part of her life for fifty five years? Fifty five yes. years. She's denied God for fifty five years. It doesn't matter. God loves her for fifty five oh, years. Can do it just in a second. Exactly. Yeah. Can we do it for five minutes? <laughs> Probably not. See, do you think we are doing as God is doing? No. No. We try. You try. To a God just a few days ago told me that I need to love Gail. Yeah. Yeah. That's what God's doing. Here I am demonizing her for all these months. Yeah. And it's change my outlook completely. Yeah. Is it working? Well, I just started doing it. Yeah, I think it's starting to work. Like I said, you know, it's, it's new. Just but no I look matter. at her in a completely different light. Yeah. As God's child and... it's You know what, what I'm asking you to do is it's fairly hard. See, even if somebody is nasty to you, Nasty as they can be, mm-hmm. just observe in them how much God loves them. Yeah. You know, how much God tolerates them, how much God is going to forgive them, but it doesn't matter that's in the future. But right now, what is God doing? What is God doing? Can you say that uh, Satan's got a hold of her? Look. <laughs> it's telling her to do things and even if Satan has a hold on her is God is still operating in her life yes is God operating in everyone's life yes. for love I and mean, yes. love yes so what you have to emphasize is God's love for 55 years that's it okay. you know See, I told you about the conscious energy. Mm-hmm. The conscious energy is very emotional, you know, and that's what it is doing all of these things because it's insanely emotional. And that insanity has to do with his love. You know, so even if something is disrupting his work, he continues to love. Because for a second, if he doesn't, if he stops loving, that element is gone. Mm-hmm. You know, for a second, he does that. Life is gone. What is gone? Life is gone. Yeah. You know, as long as the person is alive, God's love is active. Even for a murderer. For what? Murder. Yeah. Murder? Somebody who murders. Somebody who murders. And you're saying, yes. If that person is alive, God's love is active. It's bad now. Uh Uh-huh. All the bad that's going on is ridiculous. Yeah. If that person is alive, 
love of God is active. Because that's how much he loves every human being. Every organism in this world. Oh, every, the plants, the trees. Every organism, if it is alive, the love of God is alive. So, I know my tree looked at me and hugged me. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that one bit. Because <laughs> I, I could just feel it. Yeah. The energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's an energy.